Welcome to part 2 of setting up a Rust legacy server. In the previous part I showed you how to set up a server with no mods or plugins and in this part I'm going to be showing you how to set up the server with plugins and mods. I'm going to be showing you how to install Oxide. If you haven't seen the previous part then highly recommend clicking the link in the top right corner. First what you're going to have to do is go into the description and download Oxide. And then it will download this WinRAR file with the extension of .rar. Um, you're going to want to extract that. Now extract oxide underscore 1 underscore 18. And then open that. And then select all these files and drag and drop them into your Rust server folder where the Rust underscore server exe is. It's going to ask you to replace. You're going to click yes, 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 and move and replace. And now that's done. You've it just installed oxide. It's simple as that. Now you can run your server. And as you can see here, top left, it says Oxide, loading, and then all the files and everything. And it's connected to Steam. Now it's going to set up the world again, and server initialized. So that, we just installed Oxide in a space of like 5 seconds after downloading. It's that easy. Now you can close that. Wait for it to close. Okay, now you have those installed. It would have created a save in saves. It will create Oxide, and then you have these plugins. Now, next you can download the starter plugins in the description. Download another RAR file, extract that. And these are some of the key plugins I thought that any server should need to function, really. And a couple of extra parts. Spicy Jura, Set Home, Oxman, Bushy TPA, and Remover. All you want to do is select those and drag them into your plugins folder right next to Oxide Core. You've just installed plugins. Again, it's as simple as that. Now you wanna gonna now you wanna gonna now you're gonna wanna in run your server again. And it's gonna load plugins. It's gonna say it's loaded them. It's gonna give you these red arrows again, but again they they don't matter. Server initialized. And that's pretty much it. Now, you can connect your server. So I'll do that. I'll come back when I have Rust open. Right, you can actually run the next Rust. Alright, when that's run. You can go into your history because you've logged into your server before in the previous episode. You're in your server. You'll load. And in the console, you'll see user connected. Right, and go back to your Rust. If it's create everything. Okay. Now, you see it's installed because Oxman Dami has joined the game. And you can type help. And then you can also see that you're. Um, plugins have been installed. TPR, which is the TP, uh, Bushy TPA plugin, and your homes. I'll show you where you can find plugins now. So, what you're going to do is open up a browser. Open up a browser, and then you go just search uh, Boxman. No, Oxide. And then one of the top results will be form.rustoxide.com. Open that. And because we're doing it for legacy, you click resources. And here are all your uh, plugins for the service. So you click top resources, door sharing. And you're going to need to create an account to download. But to create an account, it's as simple as in the, you click create uh, sign up and it say sign in with Steam. You can just sign in with your Steam account. Okay, now you download. It will download it pretty much instantly because. Well, they're really small downloads, and you just drag it in to your folder. Open folder. There, installed number one. Now you can uh, close the server again. Closing Rust, all done, closing. Okay. Now you're not going to be disconnected from the game instantly, but you're not going to be able to do anything either. As you can see, nothing's moving. Then you can start your server again going into the right folder. Yeah. 
So like that. Loading plugins. I've just been disconnected from the server. Okay. Now it's gonna server initialized. So then you can join back again to your server. Wait for it to load in. There you go. So now I'm back in the server again. Then help. And now what you can see share and unshare. So share and it's that means the plugin's installed. You can now share your doors with people on the server. Next, I'll be I'll show you how to configure some of the plugins. So I'll stop the server so we can do that. Okay. Okay. So the plugin configuration files will be saved in save, oxide, and data. So here you can see all the uh, configure. Com configs for the plugins you've just installed. So let's do set home. I'm not sure if you saw but when I typed slash help it said I only had three homes. That's because the home limit is set to three. So set that to five. Now now anyone uh, now players can have up to five homes. Use economy, false, you can turn that to true if you want if you install an economy plugin. The same with groups and factions. Home timer the timer it will take for you after you type slash home that's the timer it will take to actually teleport you there so you type it and then you have to wait 30 seconds so you can set it to zero to make it instant use door share set it to true which will mean you can only set home on foundations that you own or are shared with so, so that means you can't set your home on someone else's house so the price doesn't matter because well we have economy disabled. Home cooldown. That's the time between, uh, time between each time you can use the command. Three hundred is five minutes. It's in seconds, as you probably realised. So you can put that to zero. So you can only home every zero seconds, or I'm gonna set it to ten. Only home every ten seconds. Uh, reset home timer if attacked, which means which would stop you from PVP logging. And you can leave the price as well because the economy is disabled. And that's that. It's configured your homes. You can just save all that. Um, now, Oxmin, which is the admin plugin, which gives the admins all the commands that they need. Welcome to server, etc. Uh, welcome to server, and then it will say the name. Hey, slash help for list of commands. It's not really much you can change here apart from you can change Oxman. So instead of it saying Oxman, I put it to Dan uh, Dan Admin and save that. Now if we start this over again, like what the hundredth time in this video, <laughs> we'll see the normal. It's gonna load all your plugins, get to Steam, load the world. And then initiate the server. Initiate the server. Now you can connect again. It's going to load in again. Okay, now you're in. See, now it says Dan Admin instead of Oxide. Obviously, you can change that to your server name or whatever you want to change it to. Now, if I say hope, it will say you can go to your home with slash home 1 to 5. It used to say 1 to 3. So if and if I type slash set home one, it say you are not on any structure. That's because you need to be in a uh, in or on a structure to actually set your home. Well, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to set your admins or log in as an admin using the icon password and some basic commands of Oxman and just the rest of the console. You can click the link in the top right to go to part 3, or you can click the top link in the top left to go to back to part 1, if you've missed anything. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of setting up a rust...